With crossover SUVs now outselling sedans, the latest Mercedes-Benz entry into the fast-growing compact segment seems destined to become the Mark's bestseller in short order. It's been on sale since December, so you've probably already noticed these leather-lined shopping carts crowding your local Neiman Marcus and Whole Foods parking lots. Stepping in for the former GLK class for 2016, the new GLC class moves on to the latest C-Class platform and adopts the new Mercedes-Benz nomenclature. And a lot has changed besides the name. While it shares suspension and drivetrain hardware with the C-Class sedan, the wheelbase and track width are greater. In all, the GLC 300 measures 4.7 inches longer and 2.0 inches wider than its predecessor. A more commodious rear seat and expanded cargo hold are welcome benefits, and it all comes without the usual weight penalty. In fact, the GLC 300 and the GLC 304 Matic tested here weighed 275 and 128 pounds less than did the equivalent 2013 GLK models we tested nearly four years ago. For the new model, we again tested both rear and all-wheel drive editions with the 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, which is the entire model range at present. The rear driver is one of few in the class where opting out of AWD usually means settling for front drive. Stuttgart intends to fill out this range with diesel, plug-in hybrid, and AMG high-performance editions in later model years, plus a hydrogen fuel cell model and one of those crazy fastback coupe crossovers to face off against the BMW X4. While handsome and stylistically in tune with its sedan, and coupe, platform mates, the GLC's exterior profile hues more closely to class norms than did that of the distinctively squared off.